There's not a single day that passes without you on my mind Not even one minute can end up before you come around I yearn for the days when I see your face here before me I long for the time to help me in your own world I wish that you were here to give me everything I want But I know that life's unfair and we can't What's up guys? Um, just sitting here working on the kayak trailer, <clears throat> taking it one step farther, um, putting some overhead bars here, that way I can haul both. I can haul my kayak on the bottom and put my wife's kayak on the top. And sometime in the future, uh, I may put Maybe a bike rack or something on each side. I don't know. I haven't made my mind up yet. Kind of an idea. <laughs> Trying to... Uh... Oh. What's the idea? <laughs> Can't see anything. Um, I'm going to paint it black for now. Uh, I, I thought I had more paint than I did. But I'm actually in the process of... Um, I'm actually in the process of a uh, review of this. the Yacht Gadget. The Yacht Gadget um, trolling motor. I'm going to take it out tomorrow. Today's Tuesday. It's, uh, it's the week after Thanksgiving. Tuesday after Thanksgiving. But uh, I'm gonna take it out tomorrow and uh, really kind of run it through its paces. Clock how fast it goes with my 18 volt water snake. Um, get some really, some detailed information and show it. Uh, I've also got a few other things. Been working with JT with Yak Gadget. He's, uh, he's been really awesome. <laughs> he sent me that mount for free, but I have purchased things from I'm still gonna give a, a very unbiased uh, review but uh, trust me don't expect it to be negative uh, it's gonna be great because if uh, any of you have followed my videos at all you know that I've already tried it out definitely gonna put a tie down here Thing that I am a little agitated about. I misjudged the width of my kayak by about probably a quarter of an inch. It touches both sides right there in that spot. Um, I don't know <laughs> what I'm going to do about that. I could, I could move the kayak forward more, probably another six, eight inches, move that winch forward, and because uh, that's like the width, the widest part of the kayak is right here. And that would bring it in, it wouldn't be touching completely, but it's gonna rub getting on and off. But uh, regardless, see it well. Trying to get an idea of what it's going to look like. So, 
if you're wondering why it really matters. I mean, I could throw that thing on top in the back of the truck. Um, I'm moving. And where I'm moving to does not have a lot of room. Long story, I'll explain later. Um, the idea, I may end up having to sell that boat <clears throat> or either put it in a marina. But the idea is uh, the houses that I've looked at and the neighborhoods that I've looked at, um, they don't have like drive through gates for something that large. But they have wide walk through gates, or at least I could have it have the gate modified. I'd be able to roll this into the backyard and uh, cover it up rather than keep it in a garage and take up all my space. Because as you can see, I have plenty of stuff that will be in a garage. Um, also, didn't see a house with a lot of uh, shop space either. So that was another uh, another concern. Um, I know you guys don't see this much, but uh, it's a native Versa. I think uh, Liquid Logic makes them now, or maybe they both do. I don't know. Uh, these white spots are uh, pine pine sap from that. Um, this thing has seen a little abuse. Well used, um, but it's my wife's. It's a paddleboard slash kayak. Um, tail lights for the trailer it's gonna be right here so that'll give that should give some really good visibility following behind should be able to see those lights well and the lights will not be down in the water this kayak so 